Game number two, ladies and gentlemen. It's best of seven. This one's on Calm Shaw. Soup taking the first game with some impeccable Loki play. But now moving on to Calm Shores. It's another water map. Uh, obviously, you don't get to know what map you've got in, uh, in, in competitive Mega Random. You can get high hunt, low hunt, medium hunt, high fish, low fish, weird fish. All are as options here, but we're going to be moving into game number two very, very shortly, ladies and gentlemen. These guys are playing at a ridiculously high level. I can't wait to see what sort of strategies they're going to be having moving into this game. It's going to be a really, really fun one as we do pop in here, and it's already fireworks, ladies and gentlemen. In the bottom of the map, in the red color, playing as Poseidon, we have the player... Nullus, the red color, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, his opponent today in the blue color playing as Kronos. His name is Soup. He's playing as Kronos, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a little bit about what we've been talking about, about Calm Shores, where Kronos feels like you can get some cheap wins here. However, I am not 100% sure that Kronos is the best god here by far. I think that you can potentially play Egyptian here. I think you can potentially play Greek here. I think you can even potentially, and I think as a counter to Kronos, I think you can play Norse here, specifically Loki and Odin against a, a Kronos player with the idea of Heimdall rushing your opponent. Remember, there's only one gold mine on a map like this, and you can go for a crazy big rush while your opponent is trying to take out your docks. Lots of different options as we do see the dock coming through here. Already a second dock coming up though for Nullis. He plays around that deconstruction absolutely perfectly. This is kind of what I say is the way to do it because in reality, you, you, you either, I mean, so long as you put the dock in front and then put the dock behind, you're always going to be okay here. The, the problem happens when the Cronus player is smart, wises up to this sort of play, walks past the dock and says, oh, you've got a second dock here and chooses not to deconstruct because that's going to slow you down even more as we see Nullis ready to possibly drop a second dock here in the early stages of the game with the idea of going for a really big attack over onto this location. I wouldn't be surprised to see early Ares here from Nullis uh, going something like four or five villages on wood only here with a 4.30 or, or even 4.15 advance time at something or 4.16 uh, advance time. So We'll see how it's going to go here in this one as uh, as the goat's coming through here. Finalis is going to be sorting that all out. We will be seeing Soup's Oracle getting taken out. So if Soup wants to get another one out to, to, to Valor and Heroize and make it all work, then he's going to have to do that pretty quickly. Another way to play this one here for Soup, which would be really, really smart, is to throw a dock up on the other side of the map, sack the right side, and then just grab all the fish over here, build two Bereams to prevent any sort of docks from coming up over here. That's if Ares is going to come through. You have to play around it though, so we'll see how it's going to go. Both docks already up. Unfortunately, it seems like the villager here for Nullis has moved back to the home base. He's actually got eight villagers on wood, which is not what I would recommend here uh, in, in, this, uh, in this matchup. Uh, I, if you want to be go, I, I think on Calm Shores... Where Anatolia, I say that the best advance time on Anatolia is 5.15 or 5 minutes if you can get like enough fishing ships out, say for example with Thor. But on this map on Calm Shores, I'm leaning way more closely to 4.45 advance times. That's seven villages on wood for, uh, for Greek. That's four villages on wood for Egyptian. That's, uh, what's next? Greek, Egyptian... Norse, Norse is five five villages on wood, and 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 Atlantean is you go for a four thirty, uh, you don't go for a four forty five. That's my current meta predictions for this map. But Soup going to be advancing right now. He's going to be able to get that uh, that Oracle out, put pressure onto his opponent over here. Already sending the uh, the citizen over onto this side as he should. The best kind of way to play any sort of dual split water maps is Atlantean. Is going to be always advance fast, put pressure onto your opponent, build fishing ships out of the one side, build Bareem out of the other side. As the, uh, as the first best idea. As we do see Soup maybe overbuilding fishing ships ever so slightly here as he wants to get himself up to nine at this point. He might be able to steal a fishing ship bot here. Oh, he's not fast enough there as Nullis dumps his fish in, but still not able to advance. He's a little bit late here trying to get for his own 4.15 here. He's going to garrison those fishing, sh those villages in 
and he doesn't quite have it. He's just a little bit behind. There he goes. Going to be going up, and I imagine he's going to go through Hermes here with this kind of advance time. We see the oracles through onto this position, checking this out. And in reality here, there's going to be no significant advantage for Kronos in this situation. I think Nullis has played around it really, really nicely. So Soup's going to have to figure out a different way forward here. As he goes straight after this dock over here, we see the Promethean waiting on this position. We've got the uh, Barim actually coming out of this side first. Is he building is Barim, building Barim out of every side? I don't know if I like that play, but we'll see how it's going to go because it means he's not going to have the fishing ships here. But if he can take down this dock over here, oh, he's not checking this location now. Nullis is just going to happily build a third dock over here. Not only that, he's also got Hermes to ceasefire and give himself some time here in this position as we do see the Promethean will spot the villager is there an escape route though he might be a villager kill here it looks like there's a, uh, an escape route oh but he can he can time shift the building here and block this time shift time shift time shift not going to be able to, but he may be able to catch up this villager with the Promethean. 4.4 speed as he is Kronos. He's going to continue to chase that one down. We do see an immediate ceasefire to save the villager and everything else there here. As uh, as Nullis is going to be okay, as Soup's got himself five Bareems out. The question is going to be six docks here for Nullis. Is that too much? He's playing around the second deconstruction really, really well here. But... That does, but basically, that just means here, from the perspective of Soup, he needs to not use Deconstruct. If he sees three docks, just don't use Deconstruct on that location. Save it for something a little bit more important here. As the uh, Centaur is out, do we see some heroes? We've got Theseus, still no uh, Archer hero, but it's not that important. Fishing ship can start coming through here. The villager over here can drop another dock down on this position over here. Get all those fishing ships out. Honestly, had... Soup played this perfectly here and dropped two docks. He would have all of his fishing ships through by the end of that uh, ceasefire. It takes around about 45 seconds to get those fishing ships out, plus about 15 seconds to get the dock up. So he could have had all of his fish out here and be in a, in a really, really good position to just defend on the water, transition into a land game here and uh, see how he's going to go. As the fishing ship's pulling back over here, we've got ourselves the Barim trying to push forward. A big advantage in terms of Barim numbers here, but that's a lot of docks here. Only one with uh, with units garrisoning inside. As we do see a little bit of micro here from Nullis trying to pull back in those ships, trying to get the damage done as best as he possibly can. As we will be seeing with the Barim's falling, I don't think this is an attack which Soup should be taking here. He's almost going to be able to clean all of this up, trying to get damage done in the main base of Nullis while this is all going down. But he's about to lose all of his Barim's on this position over here. He's only got... One remaining. He's not paying attention over here. Full commitment onto this location as the villagers are going to be turning around over here. More villagers going down. We see over here some more fishing ships. Not just yet as the Barim's coming through over here. Going to be able to deal with those Trireme really, really easily. But all of the forces on this location have been dealt with. Soup's early game here is kind of down the drain at this point. And now the Theseus and the Centaur are going to be moving forward. We do see a second town center already up though for Soup. A very, very interesting decision from Soup. We'll see if it's going to be working out for him another way to play this from the perspective of chronos in these positions is to is to build three oracles and use your second valor on the oracles instead of going in onto like military academy or military military barracks and counter barracks and doing it that way to just give yourself a little bit of extra wood to play with on the water if you if you need it as the army still retreating back we do see some triremes coming through over here soup uh, he's not microing this over here from Null's perspective. He's finally going to pull away, but we will be seeing the villager retreating back. I would love to see a second dock going up here at some point for, uh, for Soup, but there is another world where Soup kind of doesn't need to get more fish out. He doesn't need to. He's got the two town centers, so that's an advantage where that's concerned, but Nullis is now going to be taking this opportunity, reacting to the second town center of Soup by getting his own second town center, which if we remember back to a certain game, I believe Shelty played on this map against Kronos, in fact, where Shelty went for a one town center fast, uh, fast mythic against the Kronos, and it worked out incredibly well. If we remember that, that's the way to play here is if you've got an advantage on the water is to do that. But we're just going to be seeing Nullis, on the other hand here, just decide to go for three town centers and boom. All the town centers are really, really back on this map though. So that's going to be huge. As you do see counter barracks coming through, units pushing through here, going to try and take down some citizen on this position over here. As we see the uh, counter barracks coming up, and we'll see how it's going to go. As the Barim pushing through, going to be able to take down all of those Trireme over here. That's beautiful play there by Soup. He's going to have to pull back here though. 
He's, he needs to, he needs some army to deal with those docks now though, because he's dealt with the with the ships, but he needs some army here. We do see the units coming out. There is a uh, there is a valor available here for for suit, but he's waiting for the next couple of units to come out here. This uh this Mermillo would would do well for just garrisoning in the sentry tower and valoring the rest of the stuff. You just see a little bit of housing crisis though for soup at this point. Is the army going to be pushing back? Fishing ships just sitting inside of this dock wanting to move back. Soup is on top of that, moving in and out. The best way to do this, though, from the perspective of the aggressor is to just leave your ships here and Alt-S. You Alt-S the ships, and that way they don't pull into the docks there. You don't have to worry about it too much as the Valor does come down, chooses to use them on the Terma there as the army going to be moving around on this position here, looking for, for something to take out. We'll see if he can make anything happen. The third town center is up for Nullis. He's got himself some berries over here. He's got himself a handful of hunt left in his main base. He's got some berries over on this position. There's berries in the middle of the map, but I think that Nullis here might find himself very, very stuck in the classical age. So there's a world here where Soup is going to be able to hit Heroic Age first in this position, even after all is said and done. As the fishing ship is popping back out here, the Barim's going to immediately push back in to try and punish this. Will he be able to pick off any of these fishing ships or not is the big question. Do we see any any, any triremes coming out? Not just yet. Trying to snipe these fishing ships down as fast as he can. Nullis not paying attention over here. One fishing ship down, two fishing ships down, three fishing ships down. We do have three or two that are sitting inside of the docks, though, so it's not the biggest of deals for this for this time being. But at this point, we see probably around about the same amount of fish for both players actually being uh, used at this point. So it's a very, very equal game here as the stable coming down, some houses coming down here for Nullis as well, starting to get the units to come through. Now, Nullis here, his every single concern right now in this game should be secure this gold mine at all costs. If he can secure this gold mine, get to the heroic age, he should be fine here in this game to get late game and it's going to be on soup to win the game. However, if he doesn't secure this, it's a very, very simple way to a victory here for soup because the Atlantean economy is just so strong that he can just spam in onto both sides over here. He's going to have time shift. He's going to be able to move some units through here. We do see the Barim starting to go after these docks. We definitely utilize that Promethean to help out here as the army going to be pushing over here, trying Trying to take down some villages on this position. There are a lot of villages here, but not and not, not too many. There's not going to be any that are going to be able to be uh, sniped here. Sometimes you can have a town center out in the middle of nowhere and have 25 plus villages around there, and then a couple of them do get sniped by those big plays on that position. As Soup retreating away, he needs to just sit on here, maybe push forward with some citizens, build some middle military buildings. You can see he's got so many resources here to spend. As we do see the units coming through over onto this position, Soup's at 145 or 145 population here. The Bareems kind of just need to be sacked for the for the time being, go after this. We do see a watchtower getting time shifted onto this position, but this is where the gold mine matters here. When you go for these time shifts, you need to also build buildings around it. So also time shift around the, the tower there to make sure it's nice and safe. As we do see the the term are going after those Toxodes here as best as they possibly can. It looks like the army a little bit too strong here though for uh for well, sorry, for four soup to deal with as Nullis is well, kind of enough units over here. We do see the Hippolyta coming through here to deal with the Promethean as well as the uh, ship's still trying to take out this location, but all the units now pushing through onto this position here, trying to take out more villages. Will we see that next age coming through anytime uh, soon here? Do we have an armory up somewhere? It looks like there is an armory over here, so he should be able to advance uh, whenever he feels like it, but he's currently just not paying attention. Mason's coming through as well for soup. I wonder if he's going to go for this uh, like watchtower kind of time shift shenanigan play here as more buildings coming down still not advancing to the next age i'm a little bit confused as to why that is i think maybe he feels like he already has spending some more resources here to move forward a watchtower on this position here wouldn't go astray to target down this forest over here but there is back there are back forests excuse me that could be there as well as the army uh retreating back here we see the military barracks getting dropped down onto this location as well as the Carabalas are just hanging back here as best as they can. The Polita sitting, watching, waiting. With all the good stuff, there's the military barracks coming through as well as the Mamillo coming in onto this position to try and deal with this. Still no advance time here from Soup. is very, very surprising. He's got himself some decent upgrades here. But the big thing is that the Greek army at full population beats the Atlantean army incredibly handily. The only way the Atlantean army beats the Greek army is with better uh, technologies or better units. 
So, like, like all the myth units coming through for Kronos can definitely be a help. The, the, the Kyra Balancer actually is a real big help in these fights as well to deal with those hoplites here. There's more military buildings coming down here as Super is struggling to produce here on this location. He, he's still got this tower over here trying to take out those docks. All of the uh, Bereams have been cleaned up and those docks are still alive here as Nullis not really popping them back out. So you see uh, some more pressure coming through. Looks like the Triremes have secured this location finally. As Soup's still biding his time here. It's currently 80 villages now for Nullis. So Nullis is going to be able to seriously skyrocket to the next stage of the game here. Uh, as Soup could very, very... He could really use just pulling these villages off of the farms onto gold and building some farms over here or something. Or making the trek over onto gold. At this point, as you can see, the gold is starting to really pick up. Farms going down everywhere as well for Nullis. His economy is looking really, really strong in this situation. As the uh, Theseus coming through, trying to take down the Karabalista on the back. Still no upgrades through for either player. Rhea has been picked, though, for Nullis. He's got a lot of military buildings here. The defender's advantage, very, very strong here. Very, very real in these situations here as well. Seeing more military buildings getting dropped for Nullis as he's realizing how important that is. But Nullis wants to get to the next age as best as he can. But right now, he's spamming units out because he's taken this fight when he really shouldn't have. Both players kind of making a little bit of missteps where it makes more sense to tech rather than fight. As uh, it looks like Soup now coming back into the score lead, he will have Trader to steal away a Nemean Lion, potentially a Chimera or a, or a Colossus or even Heliopolis later in the game here. As Carabellas are getting a lot of damage done from afar. He would love to see some upgrades coming through. We don't. We do have Copper Mail in. We've got ourselves Medium Mermillo in as well. But things like Copper Shields to come in, as well as more military buildings, even some towers time shifting onto this position and getting himself like crenellations here wouldn't go astray. Uh, as the pressure still coming forward. Where's the temple? Looks like the temple is. In the middle of the map here is the behemoth going to be moving forward to get some damage done. Meanwhile, villagers did take down the tower over on this position. Like I said, you have to kind of surround that tower if you want to secure that location there. As now Nullis is going to be able to advance to the next stage. You see horns of consecration immediately coming through for soup as well. Obviously getting that as fast as possible is going to be the maximum amount of rate or favor to be gathered. But it just takes so long for that technology to pay for itself in my opinion. I think it takes... My calculations, if you're on three town centers, you're basically getting yourself one favor extra a minute. And if you calculate one favor at 10 resources each, then you, it takes 20 minutes for it to pay itself off. I think that's the math. I could be wrong about that, but it's a really, really weak technology. Um, as the units pushing through in onto this location, as the behemoth trying to push in over onto the town center, getting a lot of damage on Aphrodite, about to hit though, as the army still trying to take down the Theseus, not going to be able to deal with that one fast enough, as we do see a palace, going to be getting thrown up on this position, walls already coming down here, and I was playing this one really smart, he knows he needs to secure this location over here, doing that really, really nicely, this gold mine's actually almost finished here, so Super would actually do a lot better with dropping a palace down over here, he can always simply just... Uh, time shift a palace over onto the other side of the map as well as an option if he has the uh, army but it looks like soup yet again very low on gold as his gold mine finishes up all the villages moving forward into the middle of the map as the army now starting to move over here getting some pressure onto this location we've got some trireme looking for some cheeky little raids over here as well as the trader does come down onto the nemean ne line as expected here going to be retreating away Quarry coming through as Soup desperately needs palaces down to secure his own gold mines as Nullis could very simply here uh, completely change the landscape of this game into a gold star coming through for Soup here instead of what we expect it to be for, uh, for Nullis. As the Toxodes coming over here to deal with this, the villagers retreating back. There's still gold over here. Uh, the villagers happily mining this gold mine out. We've got more military buildings coming through here as the army starting to muster in the middle of the map. It seems to me there's only four military buildings, five, six, seven military buildings, but not really training from all of them. We also see pigeons, pigeon carriers coming. It's a really, really important upgrade to get time-shifted buildings through. One, one time-shifted building with carrier pigeons is enough to build as many as you want behind it. But while this is all going on, Nullis is deciding to tech up two of Feist but this is going to give a slight advantage back over to Soup yet again. So we'll see if 
super is going to be able to convert this now advantage that he's got. He's got a lot of resources in the back. We see units coming through here trying to snipe some uh, some units down here. Meanwhile, the term here not focusing down those Toxodes. The tower going to be getting good damage down as the village is getting pushed back here by the Nemean Lion and the Terma of Soup. He's got a couple of units chasing around here. We do have a counter barracks getting time shifted onto this position here. Carrier Pat Pigeons is in, so he's going to be able to continue to time shift more and more units through here if he so chooses as the gold staff has to be the option here for soup in this game i would probably consider just stay in the classical or in the heroic age here get all the upgrades you possibly can we do see some villagers coming over here to try and stop this kind of side build villagers coming through here to maybe try and wall this off finish off that wall at the top meanwhile mermillo going to be pushing over here got 160 or 160 population for soup lots of resources in the bank he could really do with selling wood at this point right now wood sells for 60 and He's going to be going for the gold staff, so he needs to make that work. As we do see some villagers coming up onto this position. The Mermilla coming over here to hold on that position there. As we see Plenty Vault coming down. Do we have ourselves trade up? Not just yet. It's going to be a little ways away as the Mermilla come over here, taking down some villagers on that position. We've got Mermilla taking villagers down over here as well. Forge of Olympus coming through for Nullis. The market is up in this position, as you do already see Donkey Caravans coming through. So it's just a matter of time for Nullis to get the gold he needs to survive in this kind of situation that he's found himself in. We've got the Arcus coming through over here. This villager is uh, making a break for it as all the units going after it. No escaping for you as the army is still pouring in onto this position. The army has to retreat now for the time being. Forge Olympus just about through champion infantry coming through. We see another behemoth getting created over here as Soup going to be going in trying to steal away the Plenty Vault. We've got a military barracks time shifting in onto this position. You'd want to time shift it right next to the Plenty Vault to kind of control that one. That's a beautiful play there from Soup. Incredibly smart to go after that because now uh, Nullis has to deal with that in order to get himself back that 10 villager advantage that he gets from that. And this is going to give Soup so many uh, resources. But we see copper weapons, copper mail, copper shields coming through. And this is going to be a big, big help for Nullis to secure a gold mine or secure some sort of a winning position here. Meanwhile, nine Donkey Caravans right now have been built. We do see the Behemoth coming back over after this town center, but the Theseus is already here to deal with this one. So it's not going to be that big of a deal. Meanwhile, I would love to see more time shifting coming through here for soup he's utilizing it really really well in this game we see the uh the Colossus is coming back, but you can time you can uh, trade that one over to himself if he so chooses. In fact, if I was if I was Nullis, I would just be deleting that Colossus at this point, just so no Colossus for you, because I, I, no Colossus for me, no Colossus for you. Meanwhile, more units coming through. We see another military barracks coming down onto this position as the army coming through over here. He does see the the uh, donkey caravans coming through here as well? Do we have any sort of palaces through just yet for soup? No, it looks like he's going to be going for the Mythic Age. I would be surprised to see Helios, but I think Helios is kind of the best idea as we do see that that uh that trader does come down onto the colossus going to immediately move back in onto this position over here as the units trying to hold through trying to get this plenty vault for as long as they possibly can meanwhile villagers coming back over onto this position here now sitting with very low gold at this point soup is controlling the map beautifully here in this game as the army all retreating away that the, the uh, colossus going after the town centers the heroes desperately trying to get back over onto this position we see the hippolytes are coming out all the heroes through right now that now let's can afford he doesn't have the gold to produce himself and, and we see helios here i love the helios pick because that's going to allow him to attack this location and then attack this location and then attack this location and drop a palace over here we see villagers trying desperately to grab the gold mine on this position 66 villages right now for nullis the uh the doggy caravans getting taken down imagine some watchtowers getting time shifted in here as well by uh by soup if you had the resources but currently doesn't he's continuously pumping in onto this position do we see and we do have nearly full bronze though now for nullis which is huge huge advantage here we nearly got full bronze though for soup as well as the behemoth coming back through onto this position trying to take out the town center there is still the hippolyta waiting in reserve here as the village is still getting taken out on this position we've got 90 favor in the bank for soup but he doesn't have any gold here he's about finished up on gold mines as well as the villagers moving over onto this gold mine i wouldn't mind seeing a handful of villagers actually moving in to grab this gold mine right now as well to take that away from his opponent here as the army coming through trying to deal with this Nullis is defending as best as he possibly can here ladies and gentlemen I could like honestly I could just imagine that a implode here would have been almost game ending because it would have killed off all the units he could have used it maybe onto this location here put a whole bunch of pressure there and then attacked elsewhere but he's just at this point Soup has not managed to really find well he's got a tangible advantage in terms of a gold star but 15 donkey caravans is going to be enough for Nullis to start inching his way back into this game as the behemoth 
Dream that's pulling back here. I think that this is exactly what Super is going to be trying to do here. Immediately vortexing over onto... Oh, he goes onto this location, going straight after the market. This is really, really smart. Take down the town center. Take down the Hecagigantes. Oh, oh, or, or take down the market. The Hecagigantes, does it come... Where's the Hecagigantes? It doesn't come through. It's kind of currently sitting idle here as the Behemoth is going to get taken down. This is such... I think it clicked. I think it clicks Vortex too soon here. As the Gigantes doesn't come through, one Behemoth remaining here. Is this going to be enough? Remember, there are still going to be three Behemoths, uh, three three time Vortexes. Excuse me, going to be remaining here as the village is getting pushed back. We do have a trade route already started for, for Soup at this position. Uh, as uh, in this moment, in the game's got only eleven Donkey Caravans. However, though, as the Behemoth is still going out to this town, and the village is finishing up with it. They don't have any resources to repair it. Zero gold in the bank right now. As the town center will be going down ladies and gentlemen still managing to hold on to the plenty vault in this position with those arc is still doing damage you see the hecagigantes going straight after this main town center as well as the villagers coming through to try and shank down the hecagigantes remember the hecagigantes has got only 44 percent hack armor so it goes down really really fast two villagers and everything else the but oh the town center survives with 37 hp as we see a vortex coming through you're going to be able to take that down immediately here two more behemoths get created here as well the villagers over onto this gold mine though at this position right now as the uh as the town center here will it go down We've got a whole bunch of units here. The Behemoth trying to circle around onto this position here. The Town Center currently not able to be rebuilt for the moment here for Nullis. One mistake that, that obviously Soup doesn't have the resources right now, but one mistake that, that Soup is making here that he really would like to be able to be doing is time shifting buildings in while this is all going on. Towers, everything else. But he doesn't have the resources just yet. He takes down two Town Centers at this point. Do we see more units coming through onto this position? It doesn't look like that's happening just yet as the Hippolyta getting cleaned up over here. We see the Ark is doing so much damage. We have 115 population. Four Nullis still sitting at full population. But but nine donkey caravans remaining here in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, this gold mine, however, just about to expire. It's got 2,800 gold left in it. We've got Mamillo popping out over here as well, going after these villages yet again to take those down. So many units through in onto this position as Nullis is desperately trying to hold on in this game, trying to figure out a way back into this game, but he's not found it just yet. He's got all the water in the world. He's got all the food income in the world here, ladies and gentlemen, but he's just not able to hold on. Villages onto this wood line over here. Lots of resources in the bank for Soup at this point, finding all of the different villager gathering points here as the villager count is plummeting for Nullis here in this game. More uh, Mermillo coming through here as the villagers have to get pulled off of that location here. As the temple now onto this location here as Soup is going to be able to start making heck gigantes here as Nullis taps out ladies and gentlemen soup the chronos master here showing everyone how it's done this is exactly the type of thing that i'm talking about there are some gods that everyone thinks not that strong chronos is one of them but he is not the only reason people think he's not that strong is because they play him like Aranos, but Kronos is Kronos, and Soup plays it amazingly, immaculately here. Nullis can't hold on. He goes for the, the almost greedy three towns and a play with exposed gold mines, and he just cannot hold on to a gold mine in this game or into a third gold mine. I guess he finished this one off, but he could not hold on to his third gold mine in this game, and Soup managed to get the dub. My golly gosh, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed this one, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next game.